Continuation of systemic treatments in terminally ill patients with cancer nearing the end of life is associated with higher rates of intensive care use, longer duration of hospitalization, and increased healthcare expenses. Prolonging treatment in patients near end of life beyond the point of futility has also been found to negatively impact the patient and caregivers. However, factors contributing to the use of anti-cancer end-of-life systemic treatments are not well understood. In a new study, researchers sought to explore practice and patient-related factors associated with the use of end-of-life systemic anti-cancer treatments using a real-world electronic health record-derived dataset comprising 53,791 patients from across 150 practices in the United States. They identified 19,837 patients with advanced or metastatic cancer who had received systemic treatment in the form of chemotherapy, a combination of chemotherapy and immunotherapy, or immunotherapy alone within 30 days prior to their death. The study found that 36.6% of white patients, 32.7% of black patients, 43.3% of commercially insured patients, and 37% of Medicaid patients received end-of-life systemic treatment. Notably, the likelihood of receiving end-of-life systemic treatment, particularly immunotherapy, was higher among white patients compared to black patients and among patients with commercial insurance compared to those with Medicaid. Furthermore, patients treated at a community practice were more likely to receive end-of-life systemic treatment within a month prior to their death compared to those who were treated at academic centers. The researchers also noted large variations in the use of end-of-life treatment across different practices. Overall, these findings suggest that patient race, insurance type, and practice setting are determinant factors that influence the use of end-of-life systemic treatments in patients with cancer. Further, this study emphasizes the need to understand the impact of such treatments on downstream acute care use and associated costs and on the quality of life of patients with advanced cancer.